Okay. Oh, how dare you. And that's what you get. The crab gets its revenge on you after you leave the level. Yeah, I mean killing all the other crabs. Must have killed his brother and sisters. Brothers! Liquid! Oh, wait, wrong game. <laughs> more feathers to collect? Yeah, the more feathers we have, the better, so I may as well collect these. That's three overworld pieces we have. Yep. And now we're done with this area. So now we're moving on to the third world in the game, which is a sewer level that's actually... A sewer level? Oh god, no, we're in for some trouble. <laughs> that's actually not bad. Yes, I know, a sewer level that's actually fun to play through, yeah. So I kind of don't agree when people say the sewer levels are the worst levels in any game, because <laughs> there are sewer levels that are pretty fun, I think. This being one of them, I think. All right. And just before we do so, we need to activate the gate. I've just remembered. Oops. <laughs> yep. Actually, we might as well go in here real quick because there's a cauldron, which is a checkpoint, which we're going to need. That's, that one is for the very end of the game, near the end of the section. So that will save you a ton of backtracking. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yep. And then you just come out here and you're in the beginning again. Right. We need to activate the painting for the third world. Which is right over here. Yep. Now you can't just press the trigger and actually put them all in there. If you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press C. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not the trigger, it's C. We all know N64 controls. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because apparently... They're speaking a different language. The L trigger for Xbox controllers is Z. It's a different bloody language. <laughs> that's what we need. Language complications. Okay, so that's that done. So now we can go to the third one of the game, which, like I said before, is actually pretty fun. I mean, it's surprising because usually sewer levels are not that great in video games. Yeah, there are exceptions, I think. I think it depends on what game you play. Ooh, what's this? That, because we're going to need to jump across that. There's another one under there, so... And more mines, so you have to worry about that too. Yep, now we're on to the third world of the game now. Oh, only one new move in this world. Yeah. So, tell us about your description of this level. It's a good level. I like it. I mean, I like the idea of it. I do like the challenge of it. It is pretty fun. Although there was this one point where I got mainly stuck on it until I face palmed myself. Was the... Now, these enemies are a pain in the butt. So, what I like to do is do that attack. And if you do that, you'll always... Knock take them it. out. Yeah, you'll knock them out with no problem. Now, the gold feathers are like your defensive shield. So that's the move we're going to learn later on in this level. Very useful against boss fights or certain enemies, trust me. Actually, it's very funny in the beehive. You can just let all the bees attack you and they all kill themselves. It's funny. It's kind of like the star in a way for Mario. Yeah, it is. The, invis the invisibility, yeah. Yeah, that's why I recommend you do that move. It makes it a lot easier. Yeah, at least you won't run into those enemies. Yeah, you won't take damage from them, essentially, yeah. Right, so now we're done with this area. Yeah, I know. And the main area is going to be inside this big area. And it involves a lot of swimming. Yep. Yeah. So luckily, Euro 2 gauge doesn't drop as quick as, like, say, some games do. So. I mean, look at Conquer. His O2 meter dropped pretty quickly. Yeah. We have to worry about Clanker. Yeah, Clanker. Clank. Anytime I fucking hear Clanker now, I can't help but think of the fucking Clone War show because they say Clanker a lot. Yeah. They do. More 
gold feathers. Yeah. Well, I still recommend you collect them. I mean, there was a time when I played this game and I thought, nah, I might not need them. Trust me, you will. <laughs> Trust me. If you see him, grab him. Just, just in case you might need him. Just get him. Like, this is not a recommendation. This is a requirement. Yes. It's life or death if you don't pick up feathers. <laughs> Right, so now we're going to do is we're going to raise the water first. Now, you can't do the other m m bits first, but I like to do this and get out of the way. So, we have to swim all the way down there, where the chain's at, and swim through this uh, switch three times. And then it will raise the water. Now, the good news is there's a fish down there which will drop bubbles for you to grab. Ah, oh, yeah, so, kind of, again, like Sonic, where you can just, like, pick up the bubbles. Yeah. Yeah, and best hope to. Don't want to die after all. Only seems to give you like two uh, bits of air though. Yeah, that's it. So I grab all the bubbles. So I do this bit first, then I grab the notes and then focus on the bubbles and then fly back up. That look on his face. <laughs> The war erased, we can now go and get that piece. Well, it's just a Nintendo game with blood, because you notice he had a bit of blood on the side of him. I think it's just, like, where the fish skills is being represented, and you can't really censor that in a game. Yeah, I guess that's probably the case then. Alright, let's grab these. Yeah, I recommend doing it this way, it's much quicker. I'm getting the Crystal Cabins sort of five music uh, from the sequence. Yeah, I know. Because uh, like, if you play Donkey Kong 64, it like has a very similar soundtrack. I've never played that game, actually. I've heard of it, but I've never played it. Okay. Um, where is that gingy bastard? There you go. Well, green bastard, you mean. <laughs> yeah. Jinjo bastard. That's why I said gingy Jojo bastards. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. <laughs> okay, uh, so now we can get back up. So we collected everything down here, so now we can swim out of here. And hopefully not drown. Yep. I wonder if you're on, like, one bit of air, though. Does it, like, play a similar sort of music when you're about to drown? Unfortunately, no. Boo! <laughs> At least Sega got that right. Yeah, that was... I used to find that really cool when they put that in that game. Yeah, that was pretty cool for the And Sonic 1, they had that music, yeah. When you're in Labyrinth, I was like, oh, God. That brings back bad memories. Then again, playing it again, it's really not as bad as people make it out to be, I think. I think it's not that bad, actually. I mean, it's not the best level in the game, but it's not, like, the worst thing ever, like people said. Yeah, I think people over-exaggerate a little with that sort of thing. Yeah, but I think it's because of how bad the later Sonic games were. People were just really quick to hate the old ones and all the other games in general, so... Which I think is a bit disconcerting, because, like... There's no real excuse to like shit on anything earlier just because you've had a bad experience with later games. Yeah, it's like because of how bad 06 was, people were like, oh. Like, I don't go back and shit on the original Doom because Doom 3 wasn't as great. Yeah, that, that's essentially what the haters do for Sonic. The IGN proves that with their Sonic Unleashed review, so. Fucking silly. Yeah, Unleashed is a pretty good game, despite its flaws. <laughs> If anything, it's not the Werehog sessions that were the problem. But it was it the was, fucking medals. Yeah, the medals were the big issue. Yeah, just the amount, it just it felt like padding. This should just be used for unlockables or bonus content at least, I think. Hmm. That would have made the pacing of the game a lot better and less tedious to play. Okay. Back in the water we go. There's a lot of this place to discover. Yeah, there's a lot of um, optional pathways you can take. I recommend doing this, it's a lot easier. Yeah, yeah swimming cool. normally, you'd just be dead. Yeah, you actually you would. Yeah, I tried it before, you do die. So, when I tried swimming to the bottom and swimming back out, I died when I did it normally. I, was, I tried it out to see how long it would take, and yeah, you will fall flat on your ass. <laughs> you got to love the slow-mo when they're turning around slowly. <laughs> I mean, it's like in real life, like, you're a lot slower in water. Yeah, you are indeed. Okay, I'm going to go swim through these little tubes here. Oh yeah, because in the tubes you find more golden feathers. Yep, and more items to pick up. 
I don't know, like I said, the more of these I've got, the better. Because I used to get cocky and I thought I didn't need them, and then when I got to a certain point, I did need them. <laughs> it's kind of like the equivalent of that SpongeBob meme. I don't need it, I don't need it. And then he needs it. <laughs> Is there not, not anything down that other tunnel? Yeah, I'm just going to get some air first. Oh. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this level's actually pretty fun. I like it. Any sort of like neglecting issue you can find now? <laughs> yeah, um. The swimming control's not that great. Well, yeah, it's the. I think I I think it's a bit cluttered in areas, but in other areas it's better than others. So some areas stand out more than others, if anything. Okay. No, I think the second one's still better than this one. I think the pacing in that felt really good, actually. There weren't times where I felt like it was dragging in areas. So. <laughs> Compared to this, was like it yeah. drags in areas because you're trying to find the last note and everything. Or you're trying to do things. No, it's more the lines of just doing the basic things. Okay. And now for some platforming to grab all these notes. Yeah. Like I said, there's only one level in this game I don't like, and that's level eight. But we'll get to that when we get to it. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to, get to that horror show soon enough. Yeah. That level just... Uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, most of the levels in this game are great, actually. So, yeah. They're all fun to play. They're all... They all work, and they're all good. Yeah, that's the way I came in, so I want to go to the other one. The green one. And where will this lead us to? Another jigsaw puzzle. As a kid, I used to call them jigsaw puzzles because they were essentially. Yeah, but we all, we all know what the real name is. It's jiggies. Like, let's just call that in real life now. Let's just call everything jiggies. Yeah, because as a kid, I had three N64 games. This one, Mario 64, and Bomberman 64. They were the only games I had as a kid. Oh, really? Yeah. I would have thought you had something like Goldeneye or even Shadows of the Empire. No, I was a really young kid. So that's what I had. I mean, I didn't play GoldenEye until years later. Same with Perfect Dark and Conker's Bad Third Day and all those other N64 games. N64 did have a bunch of good games in it, though, I'm not going to lie. I mean, most of the great ones were actually done by Rare, so... Oh, I mean, that's not a surprise, because it's Rare. Yeah, Rare did a lot of great games for the N64. God damn it. Well, this crab's not doing us any favours. No. Nope. Actually, there was a time I actually got all the crabs in one go. I shit you not. They all came together and I spammed them all. <laughs> that felt so good. The next level is definitely going to be the swamp area, so that's the next area. But this level is pretty cool. This music is just crazy. Kind of fits the tone of the game pretty well as well. Yeah, got a good tone to it, especially uh, compared to some games out there where the soundtrack might feel a little inappropriate. Yeah, it kind of fits the silly tone of the game, actually, so, yeah. Right. Now we got that jiggy out of the way, let's go back. Jump in the water! Going for a nice swim. And drowning in the process. Hey, don't demonize this. It's just a nice swim. <laughs> yes. Life may sing color rainbows, but not all the times. Okay, let's go here. But counter arguing, that doesn't mean you can make it all uh, black and bleak. Yeah, but there's people out there who do, though. There is people out there who do that, though, don't they? Yes, and we don't tend to acknowledge those. Yeah, I just ignore them. I think we've already been down this route. Yeah, though. yeah. I was going to say, if they want to be sad, that's their choice. That's what I think. Mm. Oh, there was nothing down this route. So, on to the next area. Yep, so we already checked the uh, tunnels. So now we may as well... And we've also done down there as well. And we checked them, so yeah. Now we're going to be doing the main part. Inside him, and on top of the floors. And hopefully not fall off. I'll come back for a note once I uh, go up. 
Oh yeah, you gotta be really careful on this rail. Oh yeah, when you get to the last world with the tree, you're gonna be doing a lot of this as you're working your way to the top of the tree. Lovely. <laughs> it does get very challenging this game, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, there were times where I got frustrated when playing it. <laughs> it was insane. Not as much as like some players do. Yeah, that's. This is why I recommend you glide like that mm. when going down because you won't take damage when you fall. Because you'll be closer to the floor. I mean, it would be funny if like Kasumi had an animation for picking up the piece first. Yeah, that would be pretty funny, wouldn't it? Oh. Okay. Note to self, don't jump. I always jump on that and I shouldn't. Because when you jump, you, you as you saw, you can easily fall off there. Yeah. So I'm just going to run up it very slowly. Because that's a pretty tricky jump to do. You do get a jig jiggy for that, doing that, though. So. It just takes a lot of practice to get up there. Yes. And persistence. And precision. Yep. And he makes the goal! And he makes it. Oh, he needs to open the door. Yeah, as a, when I was younger, I thought, how am I supposed to open that? And I'd spend ages <laughs> running around, and I was like, all I had to do was attack it with my bank. What? You fucking kidding me? Ugh, games. You like when games take the piss out of you sometimes like that. You know when games take the piss and it's something so obvious, and you're like, what? I was, all I had to do was that. <laughs> Makes you wish you had more games like that. Yeah, games that'll make you angry, make you look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> games that make you look dumb. Ah, uh, loves it. Right, so we got like five pieces out of ten. Well, well I think it's ten. Is it not ten in it, this it, world? It, yeah, oh. yeah. As I said before, every world's got ten. Hey, I didn't know. I thought like the. Pieces like varied between worlds. Oh no! Every world, every nine world, every world you go to is gonna have ten of them. Right. Okay. So now we're gonna do the. We're gonna ruin his teeth. Well, he actually needs to get. Rid we're gonna be a. We're gonna be a dentist because we're gonna remove these teeth from him. Ah, oh, and we gotta shoot eggs in them on them. Yeah, the camera is not being a bitch. Yeah. We're gonna have to have the camera cooperate. Come on. Show, show us your pirate teeth, come on. Oh, it takes a few hits. Yeah, it's three times. The traditional three times, then you succeed. Three times in succession, apparently. Yeah. You pick up there, come on. No. Don't ever swim. There we are. Yeah, I might as well go and do the other one while I'm at it. Yeah, you have to move his tooth there. For its sake! <laughs> okay, that should be perfect then. Yeah, you just gotta wait for good timing. One more time. Hit me, baby, one more time. Hit the we can even do the dance there. There you go, all done. Six out of ten. Making good progress. Now I'm gonna go to the other side now. And grab the other piece? No, no, I think it's something else, I believe. I think it's a token. Yeah, it's ah. a token. Yeah, it's a token. Ooh, another double kill again. Yep. Seriously, this move is so useful. If you're not using that move constantly, then you're not going to get yourself the best meta strat. Yep, exactly. Right. Okay. I'm going to take out this... Crab. Crab. Piece of crab. Yep. You piece of crap. Crabby crap. Okay, now you want to dodge them because you will take damage. Now we gotta jump through them, and there's a time limit here. The hoop challenge. Yeah.
Well, at least we're not flying through rings the entirety of the game. Yeah, that'd be terrible. That would be absolutely terrible. <coughs> Superman 64. Yeah, I think we should do let's play that game one day. <laughs> Just see how far we can get into it without getting fucked up. I've, actually, I'm gonna come out and say it, I've never played that game before. Never. But I've seen it. No, I don't think I want any. I'm gonna go up here first, so I'm gonna Oh go. yeah, get, get ourselves to flying. Yep. Now we need that gold feather, come on. Don't say no to the gold feather. No, instead, swim in these intestine fluids. Yep, indeed. Right. Ah, but do you want to get the piece, or do you want to go up there and get the feather? I'll come back for it. <laughs> it's so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> the way he's looking at the floor there. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, this is gonna be hard to do. Actually, it's pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, I cut the music off there. Huh? Yeah, I'm being sarcastic. It is pretty simple. Yeah. You can use this against the bees and they all fly towards you and then they'll die for it. <laughs> yeah, try running through that normally, you'll die, trust me. You will get hit no matter what. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the whole reason you get the golden feathers. Yeah. Exactly. And another jiggy for us. Jiggle, jiggle. Now there's only two left. Yeah. Where could they possibly be, though? They vanished from existence. Well, if they vanished from existence, then we only have eight pieces on this level. Yeah. Indeed. Right, okay, so now we're gonna grab another Jinjo down there. Right at the bottom there. Yeah, and avoid the tentacles. Just need to find the orange one now. Oh, he's just looking up there. <laughs> well, he's looking up there. He's like, Peg, you know, you know, cover my neck, you know, give it a stroke. I don't know, it's like he's trying to keep his head up because he's like, oh god, the smell. The smell of this place. It's the horror, the smell. It's terrible. But anyways, before I go back out, I want to check this area and see if there's any more things to grab. I mean, uh, was there not one in back in the other area? Yeah, hold on. So, we've already searched up there. Well, we came through down the bottom, didn't we? Yeah. And we've already searched in that area. Um, I think that might be it. Yeah. Because we came swimming down the bottom there, didn't we? So, I think there's something up here. Actually, yeah, there is. Ah! No, we're not supposed to go up there. Oh. I thought you could, like, get up there and, like, find a secret. Yeah, so did I, actually. I wish you could, you just face through the game's level design, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's your secret. Okay, I'm gonna come back down here because I might. Oh, wait, now I remember. Yep, there's an area we can get into, so. So we come back outside. Because that's where more of the pickups are. Ah. Let's go back out here to the star. And also, I think with the honeycombs, they're, both of them are right near each other, so I know where those are. Actually, I may as well go and grab them first, before we go back in there. And they are on the opposite side over there. One of them is inside this tube here. Oh. If you can get in there. Oh, that, that's very sneaky. Like, yeah. you would have thought that was just part of the scenery first time. Yeah, but now you can actually swim in there. Very sneaky, this game is. Yeah, go grab that pole. 
Got the pole. There you go. Hey, got them all. That will never get old. That's a great jingle. Yeah, sure is. Okay. No, don't fart, you prick. <laughs> you bitch. Kasumi is a boy. Yeah, that's why I said bitch. There you go. All the honeycomb. Hey, another health might, upgrade. About to save life up. <laughs> that, that's not laugh right. up, laugh up. Okay, so let's see how we're doing. Well, we're still missing one jigsaw piece. And six notes. I think it's down there because I know there's an area you run around. You run around at the bottom there, and that's where the switch is as well. Why is this to get back in here? Yeah, the witch is. Uh, you got to go down this way. There you go. And that's all six notes there, I believe. Hey, all the notes. Everything in the level. Nice. Mission complete, fellas. Yeah, and how long did that take me? Because there's a, there's a time at the bottom there. 23 minutes, not bad. Hmm. 24. And 16, well, the yeah. first one's pretty easy. Yeah. Normally it takes me 40 minutes to beat that stage. No, oh, doing it in like 24 minutes, that's pretty impressive. I've seen speedrunners beat this game in about one hour, I kid you not. <laughs> they well, just, I, I they jumped think, everywhere. I don't think we're going to be that fast. Yeah. Well, the Zagna speedrun, this is a playthrough. Anyway, so we've done everything. Just double checking. 110. Yep, done everything. And then we move on to the swamp next. And there's this one mini game that's really, really, really hard. But I might come back to that one later until I get the speed shoes. Because the speed shoes, you can, you can actually do it without the speed shoes. And it's really hard. I've done it without the speed shoes. But doing it with the speed shoes will make it a lot easier. Fair enough. So I'm going to try and do it without the speed shoes and see how well I do. Because the speed shoes you require in um, the desert level, I believe. Yeah, so you've got to come a long way back. Yeah. So actually, what I could do is quickly go to the desert, pick them up, and then come back and do the world four. So that way it saves us hassling around. Possible and then come back to well five after that. Now you notice with the hundred notes things I mentioned, that makes it sound a bit more complicated, doesn't it? Because <laughs> you think, oh, but what if I have to grab these notes and come back? <laughs> which, which is why you go with that strategy. Just go to one world, get the thing you need, and then get out. And then when you come back to the world, then you do it hundred percent. Yeah. So I'm gonna do it that way. Because you need to go to the frozen level and the, the desert level to pick up both, both power ups. So I'm going to go there and get the power-ups and then focus on doing them 100%. Come on. So yeah, that's that level done. Now we're moving on to the next ones. And I know where the speed shoe one is at, because you've got to talk to Mole to get the speed shoes. This is her sister, and she will tell you the answers to her sister. Yeah, I can't want to hear it. Come on, tell me. A flea circus. So that you're gonna need that for the quizzes up ahead. So if we can't remember, we had to write it down. Flea clips. Because what what this is is that she will tell you the answers to the quiz later on near the end of the game. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. So a flea circus is what we need to remember. Yeah. Indeed. Because there are various questions asking you about the music and so on as well. Mm. So basically, it's one of them games where you had been you had been paying attention, <laughs> <laughs> or else your opponent is screwed. Yeah, or the quiz will be much harder. I used to keep guessing as a kid. It was funny, actually. <laughs> and there were lucky guesses I made as well. Oh, lucky! There were questions where I'm like, wait, I know that answer. Wait, I know the answer, and I just answered it straight away. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, in a way, like the. Uh, what was it, a Metal Gear Solid quiz in Ground Zero, it's like one of those bonus missions. Yeah. There's even one where if you stand on the death one, you get it wrong, you know what happens. Instant kill. Yeah. Well, I mean, it makes sense because it, it, you know, death symbol and all. But then you get the Joker cards, which you use them to skip over the tiles, which I recommend using them for the death ones. Yeah. <laughs> Do not want to be doing those ones. Because as a kid, he used to frustrate me getting past that. <laughs> I'm gonna come up here first and see if I can get to the desert world first and then come back and do the spawn. I've got, I got enough notes to go further, so... Yeah, know. we got 300. We're too good for this game. Yep. And to think, I've only got 600 notes left. Ooh, very frame here. Yeah, I don't know what that's about, but, you know, that's Nintendo 64 for you. Yeah, it was. Even Conker's Bad Friday had a couple of issues there in the first area, I think. And then from there, it just ran smoothly. Hey, you can't always win with them. Yeah. Uh-oh. 350. Oh, yeah, you, you you shouldn't have said that too soon. Shit! <laughs> yeah, because that's where the desert one tiles are at. Ah, we should have. We had to go in and get more notes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's a bitch, all right. Fucking hell. I'll oh, shut up. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can do the swamp level normally. Well, what I'll do is I'll grab everything in there, uh, and that then is possible do, to get. yeah, that's possible to get, and then leave the crocodile mini game for last. Yeah, and then come back and do that. But I think we'll save that for its own video. Yeah, don't you? Yeah. So we'll see you guys next time in Banjo Kazooie. Until then, thanks for watching. Thank you guys.